Tomorrow, the nation will honor the legacy of a man who committed his life to end racial injustice. Our Sophia Radebaugh shows us how folks are coming together for Martin Luther King Jr. in Greenville. I have a dream. A unique celebration. That I will set the world on fire with one smile. For a man who stood out in a crowd of thousands. To honor the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr., Sunday folks in Greenville gathered to perform spoken word. Poet Dove Dupree says celebrating MLK through his writing is especially significant for him. For him to trailblaze in a lot of ways, a lot of boldness, you know, he, he's been able to encourage and influence a lot of people. But he says writing isn't going to change the division still in America. I think it's going to take a lot more than, um, you know, events like this and it's going to take a lot. It's going to take all hands on deck. Community activist Derek Quarles agrees. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Dr. King dreamed of complete unity between races, but he says we still have work to do. I think that we uh, have gotten a little bit closer uh, to that, but, or I thought we had gotten a little bit closer to that, but from what we've seen, especially with the riot at the, riot at the Capitol, um, there are way more people who still live um, in this bubble. Adding the next step America needs to take is action. We've had enough conversations around, you know, like equity and equality and social justice. And I think now we have to move into the stage of actually putting um, putting our actions behind uh, our, our thoughts. With MLK Day Monday, there may not be as many in-person events this year due to the pandemic, but there are other ways to celebrate his life, one being donating to an organization that stands up for what he believed in. In Greenville, Sophia Radebaugh, 7 News.